Hello guys, I would like to show you how to use a step-by-step -step unit converter which converts um, popular physics quantities as well as math and chemistry and uh, engineering quantities. So let me show you how this works. There's two tabs here, 1.1 and 1.2. 1.1 is used for physics units to be converted. Okay, let's do a simple example. Length. Okay, say we have meters or let's say kilometers to meters. Well, one kilometer is 1,000 meters and three kilometers, therefore, is 3,000 meters. If you change the three to a three, four, five, for example, you will see that your answer also changes immediately. Uh, if you don't have kilometers, but let's say you go from centimeters to meters, well, one centimeter is 0 0.01 meters multiplied by 345 or by whatever number you like to have. Um, then you see that 987 centimeters are therefore 9.87 meters. So you see it's very straightforward. We have all the units here for length stand SI units, uh, yards and feet and miles as well, fathom, light years, nautical, um, everything that you can imagine is listed here and it's just a matter of selecting them in the drop down menus okay from centimeter to centimeter from centimeter to millimeter okay let's do one more from um, a yard to feet well one yard is known to be three feet so multiply by nine so therefore nine yards is 27 feet 90 999 yards would be 2,997 feet, etc. So, it's very easy to use this app. It converts any length that you want from one length to another length. No problem. The same with the area. As you can see here, square meters, kilometers, squares, etc. Yard squares, feet squares. Okay, just change the initial unit. One square kilometer is um, one million square meters multiplied by nine. So here we have it. Okay, so that is area. We have the same for volume. We have liquid volume. So we're dealing with liters and milliliters and kiloliters and hectoliters and gallons and quarts okay let's do what do we have quarts to milliliters and here we get some odd numbers and that happens but it all works like a charm no problem at all that's liquid volume um, of course, time, seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks. Let's see, how many seconds are in a month? That many. Multiply by nine months, and we got even more seconds. If you don't want seconds, but you want hours, here we go. You want days, very simple works like a charm um, speed just to show you quickly we can go from meter per second from meter per hour kilometer per hour kilometer per mile kilometer per second all the major units are here feet per second to meter per second here you go get your answer right away never have to enter uh, press enter. Um, more physics units, pressure, energy, weight, mass, force, power, impulse, momentum, mass, moment of inertia, density, kilo, mega, milli. Let me just show you that. 
One hectare is ten deca. One mega is ten thousand, uh, hundred thousand deca. So multiply by nine mega gives you that many deca. Just in case you have to convert uh, those uh, fancy units, mega, giga, kilo, etc. So that's all physics units. Remember, force, power, impulse, all of that you can see easy to convert. Then in the other section, in the different tab, 1.2 tab, we are converting math units, trigonometry, chemistry, and engineering. Let me give you an example. So base, if we only have three bases, then we don't need the drop-down menu. So we just use uh, three boxes, and we get a conversion here right away. Binary decimals and hexadecimals. Prime checker. You can check if a big number is a prime or not. And if it's not prime, you can immediately, immediately see the prime factorization. You can compute gas consumption. You can there's a tip calculator included, some handy tools, trigonometry. We're going to go back here from rectangular to polar coordinates. Let me just show you. Three, four. Then the radius is computed using Pythagorean theorem. And the angle using inverse tangent of four over three. And we get our polar coordinates here in degrees. We also can convert here degree radian. Say we have 20 radian, I mean 20 degrees, or let's say 60 degrees, which is of course pi over 3 in radian and 200 over 3 in gradients. Chemistry, very important. Temperature. Say a uh, hundred Fahrenheit. See, you get fractions here. If you don't want fractions, just type in a hundred point, a hundred point zero, and you can see Celsius would be thirty-seven point seven using the well-known conversion formula. In Kelvin, we get three hundred and ten. Rankine, we're gonna get five five fifty-nine. Okay. If, however, you're given, let's say, Celsius degrees, 37, then it finds everything else, Fahrenheit, Kelvin, and Rankine. Very straightforward, very easy, very accurate. pH level solver, 8.2 in pH converts to 5.8 in POH, etc., as you can see here. So again, you just fill in one of the boxes and you get everything else. That is our pH solver. We also convert atoms to moles, density, mole, molar mass, mass, moles, and weight can be computed. And lastly, engineering. We have right now pressure to be computed, but um, as uh, more requests are coming in, we are certainly going to upgrade this app and we're going to add more whatever is needed. But right now it's already very powerful. You can convert uh, anything that you like in math and chemistry and of course all your physics conversions. Remember this app only runs on handheld. TI Inspire calculators, both CXCAS and the non CAS version, but it does not run on computers. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.